got to ask you about Kamala Harris. How you feel about her? She's a piece of shit. I was out in California for 15 years doing my show when she was at her uh, peak, and she had a reputation amongst the trial lawyers of being lazy. She'd just hike her skirt up and try to flirt. She wasn't that good in the courtroom, if not pretty bad in the courtroom. Uh, Willie Brown made the in initial contacts and arrangements so she could get elected as district attorney for San Francisco. She didn't do a very good job. She had a reputation for giving out the stiffest sentences in the United States of America for simple possession of marijuana in San Francisco, for God's sakes. But it was only to young black men. After that, they got together and got her finance and got everything organized and made the connections for her, and she got elected to U.S. senator. And that brings up the other thing, where the Supreme Court of California ordered her to produce the evidence that was exculpating to somebody sitting up on death row that she had hidden. They did that over and over and over again with her hiding this evidence. She's 60 years old, and I think listening to her word salad and the way she talks, she see the day is going to be tomorrow. So since it's going to be tomorrow, today we have tomorrow, which is why we are now. Like, what did you say? They have something in mind, but they cannot cognate getting all the way through it, which is why she's famous for this word salad garbage, and she doesn't make a bit of sense. I think, and my major at UCLA was political science, my analysis was is they picked the weakest somebody they could as a figurehead, somebody who had some apparent minority status, which she does not, and then you get somebody that's easy to control because she's lazy, because she is becoming incoherent and because she's always tried to do the casting couch to get where she wants. Now, the problem is, is that will get somebody to a certain level quickly, but you can't get past that level if you don't have competence and talent. She was everybody's favorite Hindu Indian prosecutor and attorney general and senator, and now she becomes black. So when you come into this situation here, Putin, you know, Russia, Ukraine, those are serious things. They have a lot of nukes. You've got Xi Jinping, and China's got one hell of a huge army, Air Force, nukes, computer systems, and so on. What is your experience in international diplomacy? You got made the representative of the country to handle the foreign affairs. You failed so badly, they yanked you out. When you were actually the boss in charge, the borders are, you just complete abject failure to that. Your only appearance down there was to sit in a chair in the desert while they interviewed you, trying to be cute, flashing your pearls, you know, and you didn't do your job. So you're talking now about you want to legitimize 20 million aliens who've come in here and see that they get fast-tracked so they can vote and become part of the whole process. What are you doing? Whose jobs are you taking away? What about the people that actually lined up to go through the rules? You know, I want to become a citizen, so I take the courses. See, nobody's checking. They've got an outbreak of hepatitis. They've got an outbreak of measles. HIV is ramped up. They've got all kinds of things. They've got problems with uh, strains of tuberculosis that have no cure. So people, are before they come down with it, you have to put them on prophylactics for the rest of their life so they don't get a fatal illness that nobody can cure. So nobody is running the medical test. Nobody is checking to see what penitentiary they got out of. And something that is pretty real is a movie. You remember Al Pacino and Scarface? They dumped all their penitentiaries and they're over here. You got all of these Latino gangs that have now infiltrated. You've got Ukraine. You've got Gaza. You've got people that hate the fact that they don't have technology to shoot down a B-1B bomber. 
So what did they do? They just walk across the damn border. Nobody's checking them. That was your job. Did you do it? Did you handle it? No. But you see, I did this because I did what I did, and that's what I did, which is because that's why I did it. Hey, what the hell did you just say?